Welcome back, Murderheads. This is Gas Refines on Facebook Marketplace. Our first 1955 Chevrolet Gasser for $29,475. This 55 here is rocking a small block Chevrolet with a 400 turbo transmission. Definitely kind of picking up on a two lane blacktop kind of vibe with this 55 here, but that two tone of gray looks pretty damn decent on this car, in my opinion. It's actually pretty nicely done, and I wouldn't mind having it. I don't know about that $29,000 price tag, though. That's a little bit steep, in my opinion. What do you guys think of this gasser here, and what do you think of that price? Make sure you leave it down in the comments. Up uh, next, got a 1948 Austin for $32,500. This little Austin here is powered by a 434 cubic inch small block Chevy with a power glide transmission and a four nine inch rear end. So what that translates into is this little thing here will scream down the quarter mile if you can keep it straight and keep the shiny side up. These things actually make pretty cool little dragsters and they make really cool little gassers, honestly. I like them. Not everybody likes an Austin. I have a little soft spot for them. What do you guys think of this Austin? What do you think of that price? Make sure you leave it in the comments. Uh, next, 1964 Ford Falcon for $36.5. This little Falcon here sporting a 408 cubic inch with an automatic transmission with a Ford 9 inch rear end with 373 rear gear. This is actually a very clean little Falcon. It was very nicely done as a gasser. Digging the blue paint job, I'm not really a big fan of blue, but it really looks good on this car and I think it kind of set this one here off a little bit. Honestly, I think it did a pretty good job even though I'm not a Ford guy. This thing here, it looks pretty good. I still don't know about that price. What do you guys think of that price on the little Falcon here? Y'all think it's worth what he's asking for? It? Make sure you leave that down in the comments. Uh, next, got a 1957 Volkswagen Beetle for $25,000. This little Volkswagen here is sporting a 350 small block with a Muncie 4 speed transmission with a 411 rear end. So, with that being said, that just tells me that this little Volkswagen will be a little rocket ship on wheels and be a blast to drive. It actually looks pretty dang cool the way they've done it. Well, Never would have thought Gasser and Volkswagen personally myself, but I think they executed this one here very well. The interior is not too bad either. I'm kind of digging what they've done to the seats in here as well. Overall, I think they executed this little build pretty dang well. I still can't get on board with that price though. What do you guys think of that price on the little Volkswagen here? Leave it down in the comments. Up next, got 1950 Chevrolet for $25,000. This little 50 here is rocking a 355 cubic inch Chevrolet with world heads and it's also got a 350 turbo automatic transmission. Now I'm not going to lie, I do like this body style Chevrolet. Now, it took me a long time to kind of get into the fastback. I didn't really care for them when I was younger. Kind of changing a little taste as I'm getting older. They still look pretty decent. I still would take me a regular coupe over this. But what he's asking on this gasser here, I think he might be swinging for the fences on this one here. What do you guys think of this little gaster here? What do you think of the price? Uh, next, got a 1963 Dodge Dart for $49.9. This little Dart's coming to the party with a blown big block 440. Now, even though I think this is one of the ugliest cars on the planet, I can't help it. Sorry, Mopar guys, these cars were not attractive. But this one here is nicely done, and I guarantee it does get down the road pretty damn good with that big blown 440 in there. But $49.9. Oh, man, that seems a little steep. And just to me, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. You guys can come tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. You usually do anyway, so I'm waiting for it. What do you guys think of this little dart? What do you think of that price? Leave it in the comments. Up uh, next, got a 1957 Chevrolet panel for $15,000. This panel here is rocking a big block blown 454 Chevrolet. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. But, you guys have probably caught on by now. I like these old panels. I think they're pretty damn cool. And in fact, this one here is a gasser. Definitely up the cool factor a little bit more for me. Now, personally, I probably wouldn't have built a gasser out of it. But, I'm thinking I might like to see one in my own stable there that might be a gasser. I guess never really thought about owning a gasser panel. But, this here has definitely opened my mind to maybe something a little bit different somewhere down the road hopefully maybe in the near future we can figure that out but anyway what do you guys think of this panel what do you think of that price leave it down in the comments uh, next got a 1956 chevrolet for 24.5 those are here sporting a 427 cubic inch with a five speed manual transmission with a ford nine inch well i can guarantee it wouldn't be a boring ride in this one here with that 427 with a five speed i can guarantee you this thing here will be a blast to drive 
Now, if you don't like the patina, this is not going to be for you. Me, I kind of think the patina is working on this one here. You know, you look at it, you don't think it's really got anything going on, but then, hey, it wakes up and takes your money. Uh, next, got 1967 Ford for 348. This Ford here is sporting a 390 with a four speed with three deuces, and I can guarantee you right there that that's the cool factor quite a bit on this one right here. That's actually pretty dang cool. I like to see when somebody still runs the old three deuces on something, especially with a 390 with a four speed. That's actually a conversation piece, and overall, this car doesn't look to be in too bad a shape either. Now, I'm still not sure about that price, but overall, this car. Look at the interior. The interior looks great in this car. It's a very well put together car, at least from the pictures anyhow. What do you guys think of this little Ford here and what do you think of that price? Leave it down in the comments. Uh, next got a 1962 Ford for $18,950. This little Ford here is rocking a stroked out 351 with a C6 automatic transmission. Now even though I'm really not into yellow, I really don't care for yellow on a vehicle. Yellow's actually working for this little Ford right here. It actually doesn't look too bad, Yellow. I'll have to give it that. Overall, I don't think he's swinging too far out the fences on the price he's got on this one here. Not for something that's ready to rock and roll and get up and down the road and take it to the track, to your local car show. What do you guys think of the little Ford here, and what do you think of that price? Make sure you leave it down in the comments. Uh, next, got a 1955 Chevrolet for $70,000. This one here claims no expense spared restoration. Ouch, man, 70 grand? I'm not saying this is not a good looking 55, because it is, it is a damn good looking 55, but 70 grand, whew, I mean, there's some nice things done to the car. I can see that it's got some nice fab work done and things of that nature, but boy, oh boy, 70 grand, 70 grand, that's, uh, in my opinion, that's way too much money for this 55. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Up next, got 1956 Chevrolet 210 for $37,000. This 56 here sporting a 454 cubic inch big block Chevrolet with a five speed joystick in the floor, all to make your driving experience a pleasurable one. Well, at least if you like driving a five speed anyway. Me personally, I prefer a manual and things like this because, you know, why the hell not? Who wants to drive an automatic? Automatics are kind of boring. You know, for nostalgia reasons, I just think a manual transmission and something like this right here just makes it 10,000 times better of a car. And I'm not going to lie, like I said, I do like the 56, so, you know, this one here is pretty dang cool. And it's actually pretty nicely done inside. I think his price might be a little bit higher than what I would want to pay for it, but I don't necessarily think this car isn't worthy of a higher dollar price tag on it. What do you guys think of this 56? Leave it down in the comments. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you liked today's video, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.